In this video lecture, I will explain how to construct a Turing machine for the given language. So, it is given that a language accepted by a Turing machine here in this particular example should have n number of zeros followed by n number of ones. So, for this, let us take this particular string and this is clearly a valid string and it should be accepted by the machine because it has three zeros followed by three ones. So, what will be the general procedure to construct a Turing machine? So, let Q0 is the uh, start state of the machine and let read write head point to the first symbol of the string to be scanned. So, read write head we are saying it is pointing to the first symbol of the string and the general procedure to design a Turing machine for this will be what we will be doing? We will be replacing the leftmost 0 by x. So, we are saying leftmost means in this, this is the leftmost 0. So, we replace, we replace, replace leftmost 0 by x and change the state to q0 to uh, q1. So, initially the machine will be in state q0. And once we read the leftmost 0, we replace it by x and we are going to change the state from q0 to q1. So, change the state to q1 and then move the read write head towards right direction and go to the right direction. Why? Because we have to now search the leftmost 1. Okay. So, 0 is replaced and now we have to replace the corresponding 1 so that the number of zeros matches with the number of 1s. So, now once we read the first leftmost 0, replace it by x and change the state from q0 to q1 and go towards right direction in search of first 1, first leftmost 1. Okay. So, now the second point is we say search for the leftmost 1 and replace it by y. Okay. So, now we will read 0, replace it by x, move towards right direction until we get first leftmost 1, read y, uh, read 1 and replace it by y. And after replacing it by y, what we have to do? We have to move towards left direction so as to obtain the leftmost 0 again. And this step 1 and 2 will be re uh, repeated. So, basically what we are doing? We are reading the first 0, replacing it by x and going towards the right direction because ones will be definitely it will be in the right direction only. After 0 only, we are going to write the 1s. So, then we have to move towards right direction in search of first 1. So, how we will find the first 1? So, leftmost 1 will be the first 1. And then that will be replaced by y. Again, we are coming towards left direction in search of the second 0. So, when we get the second 0, again we will replace it by x. And again, we will go uh, towards the right direction in search of the second corresponding 1. And then we replace this also by y and again we will come in the left direction. We get 0, we replace it by x. Again we go towards right direction and this y also, this one also will be replaced by y. Okay. So, this will be the general procedure and step 1 and 2 will be repeated. So, 0 will be replaced by x and 1 will be replaced by y. Okay. So, here uh, this is the uh, Turing machine. I will explain how we got this. Okay, so here what is happening? Okay, so here 0, 0, 0 and then 1, 1, 1 and just assume that after this we have blank. Okay, so now we read first 0 and the machine is in state Q0. We read first 0. What is happening? We are replacing it by x. So, the same thing is explained here. Uh, the q0 is the start state and when we read first input 0, we are replacing it by x and then we are going towards right direction. So, this is how we show the transition, right? Uh, the machine is in state q0, 
we read input 0 we are going to replace uh, and we are changing the state from q0 to q1 and the 0 is replaced by x and we are going towards right direction. So, for the same transition function uh, this will be the transition graph we will be having one state q0 and q1 and when we read 0 it is replaced by x and the moment is right direction ok. And then while going towards right direction see in between I am getting 0 also fine I am getting 0 what should I do 0 will be 0 only because uh, until we get the first one in between any number of zeros I am getting I should not replace it by x I should just keep it as it is and keep moving towards right until I get the first leftmost one because once we have replaced this 0 by x we have to search the next I mean the leftmost one so as to match the number of zeros with one because the question is that only same number of zeros followed by same number of one so in between any number of zeros I am getting 0 will be 0 only and we keep moving towards right direction okay until we get until we get 1 once we got 1 we have to replace it by y so when we are in q1 and we got 1 we are we got again 0 what we should do we are not going to change the state 0 will be 0 only and keep moving towards right direction so why we have put self loop because here i can get any number of zeros because it is n number of zeros followed by n number of 1 so i can have even suppose if i have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 0 and 5 1. So, what will happen first 0 will be replaced by x and then I need to find the uh, first 1 right. So, while moving towards right direction and after replacing this 0 by x we have to move towards right direction these 4 zeros I am going to get. So, these 4 zeros so this self loop will take care of that any number of 0 I get in between that will be 0 only keep moving towards right until I get 1. So, that is why this self loop is shown here and then once we get 1 once we are in q1 and we get 1 what we should do we have to change the state from q1 to q2 and 1 will be replaced by y and immediately we should move towards left direction so the same thing is shown here once we got 1 replace it by y and move towards left direction so what will happen three zeros and three ones right this is replaced by x this is replaced by y now after replacing this one by y while moving towards left in between again i am going to get zeros so how will i know that which which is the next leftmost zero see immediately when i move after replacing this one by y i move towards left direction immediately i'll get this zero so i should replace this zero by x no i have to replace this zero by x so in between any number of zero i am getting zero will be zero only keep moving towards left until i get x once i get x after this x immediately if i go to the right direction so after this x whichever zero comes that will be the next symbol which i have to replace by x okay means the left uh, the next leftmost zero so that's why in between any number of zero i get because if it is suppose this one here what will happen we will replace this x 0 by x this 1 by y and immediately after replacing 1 by y when I move towards left I will get this 0 this 0 I should not do anything this 0 so 1 2 3 4 zeros I will get so I have to replace this 0 now next so this 0 is just right to this x so that is what when, uh, un, when we are in q2 we get x x will be x only we move towards right and immediately when after coming here if I move towards right direction what I am going to get I am going to get the next 0. So, again I will replace the next 0 by x again I will replace next time I will replace this also by x and then we will go towards right direction in search of the second uh, one. So, now in 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 the in, while going towards right direction on the way we will get 0, 0 will be 0 only keep moving towards right and this time even we will get y also. So, this that is why this y also is shown. So, if I get y, y also will be y we keep moving towards right, right until we get the next one. As soon as we got the one we will replace this also by y and then again we will move towards left direction. Second time what will happen while moving towards left direction in between I will get y also. So, that is why this self loop of y is shown here. So, y will be y only 
keep moving towards left y will be y 0 will be 0 keep me moving towards left until we get x as soon as we got x x will be x only immediately move towards right we get this symbol 0 again 0 will be replaced by x next time this also will be replaced by x and then move towards right in between any number of y or 0 i get that will be y or 0 only keep moving towards right until we get 1 we got 1 we replace this by y so what happened now uh, after replacing this last one by y when i move towards left direction right i will not get any more zeros and as soon as i got x after x when i move towards right direction i will not get any more zero because all zeros are over so when all the zeros are replaced by x after x if i move towards right direction i am not getting any more zero so this is the uh, other path which is shown here so after x if i am getting y you can see here three zeros and three ones so we replace this by x this by x this by x y y y so after this x immediately if i am getting y that means no more zeros are left so if i get y what should happen what we should do y will be y only we go towards right in between any number of y i get we should keep moving towards right direction and then at the end of the input we get blank so blank will be blank only we move towards right and we should go to the final state so this is how we will construct the turing machine for 0 power n 1 power n so uh, the main uh, thing you have to remember for this particular problem 0 we are reading first leftmost 0 replacing it by x going towards right direction in search of first leftmost one replace it by y coming towards left direction in search of the second leftmost 0 again replace it by x go towards right in search of second leftmost one replace it by y go towards left in search of the third leftmost 0 and then replace it by x go towards right direction in search of the third leftmost one so this process will be repeated and once after x if i get y immediately after x if i get y that means all zeros are over and then what we should do we should just go towards right direction and go to the final state and this blank is used to represent the end of the input so hope you have understood the concept of construction of turing machine thank you for watching